What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer and welcome to UPBA Season 1 Week 4. I'm your coach of the St. John's Sharpedos and this week for Week 4, or <laughs> Week 4 um, was against the Minnesota, the Thun, uh, Thunder, I forgot, he has numbers at the end of his name, uh, Thunder... One zero nine zero five zero <laughs> of the Minnesota Hyperfangs, and yeah. So before we get started, I have an announcement to make. As of week four, because this is actually I'm actually recording this literally as week six is starting. So I'm gonna say this now so that then uh, there's no confusion for the rest of the season. As of week four. I made two free agency trades. Uh, a few of you is probably not going to be ha particularly happy about it because I did uh, trade a Pokemon that I said I was that I was completely ha and literally that I was completely excited to use, and it was funny because um, the week three battle. Uh, the the last UPA U UPBA video I said that. That Despotola Pokemon is my second most favorite Pokemon, and I traded them away. But um, the first trade I made was I got rid of Tentacruel. I traded uh, Tentacruel for Metagross. Um, the biggest reason why I did it was because I figured uh, Tentacruel wasn't really doing it as a rapid spin user. And the fact that I already have uh, Crobat as a spinner with uh, with him using Defog, I figured um, I kind of need a little bit more power. So I opted in for Metagross. And the big, <laughs> probably the biggest disappointment of my team, or at least I wanted to keep him, but because of his, but because of its frailty, I. Just I, I I couldn't keep them, but I traded Weavile to free agency and I picked up um, Landris, Landris uh, Incarnate, not Theria. Um, the reason why I picked up Landris was um, because Landris is power and has better defenses uh, than what um, than what Weavile is. Sure, I'm giving up a ton of speed, but um, it, 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 it was simply just because of Weavile's frailty that I couldn't um, I, I couldn't keep him on my team and um, yeah, so um, so this was the so enough of the sadness we got rid of so we picked up two more mons so um, let's get started with the set that I chose for Thunder of the Minnesota Hyperfang so first I use uh, first is Spartacus our Mega Gallade of course holding the Galadeite uh, rocking steadfast as its original ability because where he's my mega I have to um, mega evolve him literally the turn that he's out unless I'm switching um, he was rocking sword stance zen headbutt knockoff and ice punch and that's another thing too actually why I got rid of Weavile um, Glade can also have a knockoff so I figured yeah anyway sword stance zen headbutt knockoff ice punch uh, pretty standard set, although what I should have done uh, was instead of Swords Dance, you put Protect on there. The reason why for that is because uh, when you Mega Evolve, you don't get the, um, the you don't get the stat increases until the sec until the turn after you Mega Evolve. So what I should have done was protected so that uh, so that um, he gets no damage and. <laughs> Anyway, so that was that was my fault. I shouldn't have put Swords Dance. I should have put Protect instead. Uh, Zen, but, Zen Headbutt for uh, for Flinch. 
and knock off because it's knock off and ice punch um with max evs and attack and hp and the rest is in special defense <clears throat> next is orochi or high dragon rock and choice specs uh, with levitate pretty much the same set as last week uh the only difference is that instead of u-turn i rocked in flash cannon um yeah draco meteor fire blast dark pulse and flash cannon with max evs in special attack and speed and the rest in special defense um pretty see high dragon pretty pretty much has a pretty much standard set anyway um but you could rock in uh, either u-turn or flash cannon and i opted in for flash cannon because he did have a few um steel type weaknesses and i figured flash cannon from a high dragon would hit pretty hard uh, next is the net these next two is the two new mods that we got the meta or metagross with leftovers rock and clear body with stealth rock bullet punch earthquake and meteor mash with uh, 236 in HP 252 in attack and 20 and the rest 20 in special defense stealth rocks because it's stealth rock um, any bit of chip damage is essential, plus Metagross can take a few hits. Um, so I figured Stealth Rock would have been good on uh, Metagross. Uh, Bullet Punch for Stab. Uh, stab and Priority, really. Earthquake because it's Earthquake. And Meteor Mash. Pretty much the greatest move to ever have on a metagross in my personal opinion next <laughs> i love the name i gave my landris by the way lando calrissian our landris rocking life orb with sand force's ability the reason why we rock uh the reason why i went with sand force and not share power is because um we banned sheer force in the league because it was it's a bit overpowered, so who basically whoever picked up Landorus has to use Sand Force, regardless of whatever, well, regardless of sets that Smogin says. Um, with Max EVs and eight in attack and speed and the rest in special attack. Um, Rock and Earth Power, Rock Slide, HP Ice, and Knock Off. Um, Earth Power, because, because it's Earth Power, it hits really hard, uh, especially from a Landorus. Uh, Rock Slide, because Flinch. HP Ice, because I think he had a few Ice Weaknesses, I think. And Knock Off, because Knock Off. <laughs> uh, because Knock Off. Basically, every time, every week, you're pretty much gonna see me with one or two mines gonna be having knockoff. <laughs> I love knockoff so much; it's so powerful. Um, and just like last week, we are also running Husqvarna Arotamo Rock and Choice Scarf this time. Not the Choice Specs, Choice Scarf with Levitate's ability, rocking the same moves as last week uh, with Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Leaf Storm, and Trick. Uh, with max EVs in special attack and speed and the rest in defense pretty st The problem with Rotom is that he pretty much has a standard set anyway um, So that was the set I ran and Liberty the bronze on um, Rock and Rocky helmet with levitate not trick room set this time because a lot of them a lot of the mons I had were are fast uh, with the exception of Metagross and uh, Glade for the most part. Uh, other than that, everybody is fast, so Trick Room wasn't going to do it. Trick Room was not going to do it for me this time. So I rocked in Gyro Ball, Toxic, Earthquake, and Zen Headbutt. Um, with Max in HP, 180 in Special Defense, and 76 in Defense. Um, the move that I swapped out, I believe, was Earthquake, or um, was Trick Room for Earthquake. Basically, he was there as a wall um, because of his high defenses. I figured Rocky Helmet would have been would, would do a hefty bit of damage, and um, yeah, Toxic to get some status off. Gyro Ball because he's slow, 
and uh, Zen Headbutt for flinch or is mostly for <laughs> because of how slow he is it was mostly for just stab damage uh, more so than the flinch and earthquake because it's earthquake 100 power 100 accuracy like you can't you you can't do much better than that anyway i'm gonna stop talking now and i'm gonna show you guys the replay so if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never hit it before and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more uh battles like this from the upba or uh, click the other link to watch my uh, Pokemon Snakewood Let's Play. Um, yeah, so I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you guys next week. He's a jiving ghost who can make the most of his rhythmic tendencies. <laughs>